Hi Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner for the week of August the 28th through September the 3rd, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for August the 28th through September the 3rd, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for August the 28th through September the 3rd, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for August the 28th through September the 3rd, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aquarius. <clears throat> Aquarius. This is a peek at your partner. So, Aquarius, your partner has the Ten of Pentacles. Your partner has the Seven of Pentacles. Your partner has the King of Wands. Your partner has the three of wands. Your partner hit the lottery. <laughs> Your partner has the king of cups. So, Aquarius. Your partner has the ten of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aquarius, listen, this can be about your partner's money, assets, resources, abundance here. Yes. You know, your partner could tell me that someone has commitment on the brain. However, in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to a commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could be passing their own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aquarius' partner. Clarify judgment for Aquarius's partner. Clarify judgment for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting a little suspicious a little paranoid here so listen aquarius your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious they have their guard up they don't trust your partner could tell me that they're guarding something your partner could tell me that they're standing their ground or they're going to be persistent here okay so it could be their judgment to be persistent concerning money assets resources property it could be their judgment to be highly suspicious of money assets resources property your partner could tell me that you know when it comes to commitment here, maybe they're a little skeptical or they're going to be persistent here wanting an answer, a judgment, okay? You know, your partner could tell me that, you know, you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics may be coming to an end because they're highly suspicious of something. So we're going to see. 
Aquarius, your partner has a seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest their bank account looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest could be waiting on money so listen Aquarius this can be that your partner is looking at their coins their bank account okay however your partner could tell me that they're waiting your partner could tell me that they're waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius's partner Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the ten of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Aquarius, like I said, someone very well could have commitment on the brain here, okay? However, your partner could tell me that you guys had this commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family, dynamics, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to this, okay? So your partner is waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not they care to go into commitment here. They have to pass their judgment, a little hesitant here. Or your partner is saying that they're thinking about whether or not, you know, we're going to end it. Aquarius, your partner has the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. Three tens on the board here. Aquarius, your partner is feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. Now listen, is it because someone wanted to go into commitment here? And the answer is no, and your partner's highly suspicious of why the answer is no. Or there's some other betrayal that may be causing you guys' this commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family dynamics to come to an end here. Aquarius, your partner has a three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner waiting, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So listen, Aquarius, your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting on you. Your partner could tell me that their ships are here. Your partner could tell me that they're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition, but they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So listen, Aquarius, your partner could tell me that you guys aren't speaking. Your partner could tell me that they're using the intuition or they have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Aquarius's partner. 
clarify the high priestess for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So wow, Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius's partner. What does Aquarius's partner think of Aquarius? What does Aquarius's partner think of Aquarius? Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense, but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shutting someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone, but this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Aquarius, I ask your partner, what do they think of you? Your partner may think that you're standoffish, shunning and setting boundaries with them. Your partner may think that you're being accused and you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse or defense here. However, Aquarius, you know, your partner could be standoffish, shunning and setting boundaries with you because they're feeling a sense of betrayal here. They may even want to hurt you. They may want to cause, initiate some type of betrayal here, Aquarius. I feel like your partner is waiting. I feel like they're using their intuition. They're thinking about something here. I feel like either they're standoffish with you because they're waiting mm -hmm, or you're trying to explain something here. Like I said, it just makes me feel like maybe they wanted commitment and you told them no. And so they automatically think that you have someone. And maybe you're trying to explain why you don't want to rush into it. However, it could be vice versa. Aquarius, your partner has the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Aquarius, listen, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lust, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves and hold themselves back from something. So Aquarius, listen, could be dealing with a Leo. But your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Aquarius's partner. Clarify strength for Aquarius's partner. Clarify strength for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the four pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner holding back, holding off, keeping something close to their chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So listen, Aquarius, your partner could tell me that they're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Your partner could tell me that they're holding on to their coin, saving their money, being stingy. Or your partner's telling me that they're keeping something close to their chest here. It just seems like they're closed off here. They're restraining themselves. They're holding back. They're kind of holding back when it comes to you. Maybe they're wanting to wait, okay? Maybe it's you wanting to go into some type of commitment and they're wanting to wait. But the thing is, I mean, was there a betrayal and they're not over it yet? 
or you know I hope they're not trying to cause your betrayal by holding back. You know, it could also be vice versa that they wanted to go into commitment with you and you said no, causing them a sense of betrayal. And this is what's having them highly suspicious. And right now they just kind of closed off to themselves, trying to master their emotions and not letting you see them sweat. But they feel some type of way. They're feeling a sense of betrayal. So it could be vice versa. Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner for the week of August the 28th through September the 3rd, 2022. You guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace